Hello again, AZ from Digital Gojo Showrooms, and today we're going to take a look at how to work with three of the Altura Photo APC 958X professional strobes for Canon. We're going to show you how to work with these wirelessly, which makes your life easier to light up your images. If this video helps you out, please hit me up with a like button underneath, and remember to subscribe to our channel for future sessions, unboxings, and tutorials like this, and to share with your family and friends. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit me at Digital Gojo Showrooms. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to get the camera set up for wireless flash transmission. So first of all, you want to set your Altura flash on your camera. This one happens to be a Canon EOS 7D Mark II. Again, this, this is going to be very similar menu for most Canon cameras. And you want to set your camera to manual because you want to make sure you have access to all your control settings. Later on, you can switch it to even ITTO if you choose to. But activate the menu, go to your first camera setting, and scroll down to flash control. Enable, of course, flash firing. I use evaluative ETTL metering, works for me. And the flash sync, you can set it to auto or anywhere from 160 to 250. I prefer working with a fixed flash sync, so I like the 250th of a second. That's usually fast enough for myself, but again, you can vary it yourself. Now we want to go to external flash settings. First, if you're going to do TTL, definitely activate it to TTL. So you have TTL, manual, and multi. Right now I have it to TTL. This is the one that's very important. This is the one that activates whether you want wireless or not. So you obviously want to activate it to wireless. I'm going to set it to zoom auto because I want the camera to automatically change the zoom head as I zoom my lens. I'm working with the first curtain right now. I'm not doing high speed sync. And here's where you can actually change your exposure for your flash compensation. And then this is if you want to do exposure bracketing. That's become really popular now, so you can guarantee the shot. And then here's where you're going to set the channel. I'm going with one. I want to enable my master flash to fire. And I want to be able to control all the flash groups. But you can switch it, as you can see, to different flash groups. So now that's set up. Notice how the screen is set to master channel one. So now let's go ahead and set up the wireless ones. So now that we have the other two Altura 958s, I'm going to set these guys up for wireless transmission. So we first turn it on and you press down your zoom button. Notice how that activates our wireless mode and switch it over to slave and you can set it to channel one. You can change it to different groups here. This is where you can do all your adjustments. And Set it aside, and now here's my second one. Turn it on, and I'm going to do the same thing. Hold down the zoom. Switch it over to master. Again, channel one, and group A. So now, both of these guys are ready to fire off when I fire from the one that's my main one. And I'll show you how that works. Now I remember, this works on optical line of sight, so these sensors have to be able to see the light being emitted from here, which is one of the reasons why I like that the flash can do this. So I can have this aimed at my primary light source, but I can have the flash aimed in the direction that I choose to. So this way, when I fire it off, boom, they all fire off also. So this way you can really control the way you want to light up your subject and you can do much more advanced flash photography. I hope this helps you out. Happy shooting!